Am I holding it upside down? I am. <laughs> Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another unboxing video. I have my box of dread here with me. This is the July box. Um, I got all of these boxes like within a couple of days of each other and I've been waiting for this camera to come in which so I've had these boxes. What I'm trying to say is I've had these boxes just sitting being unopened for a couple of days which I hate and I now cannot get this box open. Alright, so that's one side. Two sides. Third side is the bitch. Oh my gosh, alright. Most difficult box to open ever. Alright, so we don't need that. Alright, so well, I guess we'll talk about the first thing I see here, which is a drawstring bag. Which looks like burlap, very itchy. For, oh, the town that the red is on down. Okay, well, so it goes this way. Why is it upside down? What's the purpose? Is that so I can wear it as a mask? Hold on, here we go. Ugh. Is that, is this why it's upside down? So I can do this with it? It's not very practical, I can't see through it. Not really, it's kinda of itchy. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna do that, all right. <gasps> Frizzy. All right, well, not any different than how it was before. Was I meant to put it on my head? Probably not. But cool. <laughs> I can always use more of those. All right, next thing is some sort of vinyl figure for The Walking Dead. I don't know why I'm bothering this. The focus on this thing is not, I don't know, I'm not pressed. All right, so we're gonna open this right away because that is what I do. Do not have any regard for the box or the packaging, which I am told I probably should have some regard for it, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna rip this sucker right open. And how am I supposed to know who I got if I don't open it, right? See, motorcycle. I just get a motorcycle? Oh, okay, well, I get Daryl's motorcycle. <laughs> I don't got Daryl, but I got this motorcycle. That's pretty cool. I like Daryl. All right, next thing is some more of these adorable little miniature popcorn buckets, which looks like you're eating out of a zombie's head. See, why does it focus so quickly here? But the other things, I'm like, maybe because I'm holding it too close, maybe this is the magic, magic spot. I got some, looks like army men, but I'm not really sure. What do we got here? Zombie? Zombie? All right, I got some little like, they look like the um, green army men, but they are zombies. One holding like a teddy bear. I think it's a zombie. Looks like a zombie. Looks angry. This one looks like it's low. Can't tell. But it's just like, um, doesn't look like plants versus zombies or anything. They're cute though. All right, next thing is, what is this? Free ticket, Box of Dread exclusive for Scare LA. The convention devoted to all things for August 8th and 9th, Pasadena Convention Center. What a free ticket for general admission for something I cannot go to, unfortunately. Had I known I was gonna get this, maybe I could have, but I live in Florida, so. I wish I could go. Why are you teasing me with a free ticket? I can't go. That's what I mean. All right, so next thing I got is a little pin that says what on it? Oh, okay, there's a little sticker thingy to match. Gorgon video. All right, so I got like a little sticker and a little pin. Where's the magic spot? Here we go, shit. Pin for Gorgon video, which, should I know what that is? I don't know what that is but I will look it up online, and if it is something cool, I will link it down below. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about stickers, and it looks like I got another one here. And this one is rad. Sounded like it said Brad. It's rad. I was trying to say rad. 
is Uncle Sam with like a little vulture on his shoulder, but he is all skeleton tied and creepy looking. Man, I've already started putting stickers on my new laptop, so I guess this guy's gonna go on there as well. I'm trying to slowly get over my thing with the with the stickers and not liking them because I don't know where to put them. Um, but all right, as with every box of dread, we have our comic and our poster, which is I'm thinking that's their thing. So the poster is for what? Dynamite. Wait, what? Oh, Dynamite Entertainment. Raise the Dead. Sorry, maybe you guys want to see it. <laughs> it's like a zombie cop. A zombie cop and a little kid. Is that a zombie man? Are they all zombies except for the kids? That's a little scary. I kind of like it though. I really don't know what this is for. Is this for a movie? For a game? Raise the Dead? I, I look like, I can't show you right now, but I look like I am a comic book freak. Really dumb because I just have all reanimator comics. Basically. <laughs> and once again, it is signed. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Once again, it is signed. Very cool. And given a certificate of authenticity. Give that a read later. I am starting a very crazy pile of things. Alright, so last thing I got here is a picture of Uncle Creepy. Okay, well that's the box. Now I'm just trying to balance on my leg. Um, I got a signed picture of um, of uh, Steve Barton, well, the head honcho over at a uh, Dread Central, which is cool. <laughs> and I got a picture of him all zombified and creepy looking, as his name would suggest. Um, since I have a picture of him right here, I guess I will do a shameless plug for my website. Uh, if you read my article about how horror movies reflect the fears of society during the time they were made, um, I interviewed this fine gentleman and he was very fun to talk to and I had a very nice conversation with him over the phone and <laughs> he let me quote him in my article. So if you want to read that, go on over to nightmaremaven.com. I will link that article down below. Uh, no pressure, but I think it is. Um, <laughs> very cool box. Um, as far as the figure goes, I kind of wish I had got Daryl and not just his motorbike, but maybe one of these days I'll get Daryl. I love Daryl. Um, other than that, cool box. I am not disappointed at all. Let me know what you thought of the contents of this month's box in the comment section down below. Please like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my face and hear more of my voice. And until next time, stay strange. Bye!